When we take our car to a service station to perform an oil change, the vehicle is usually placed on a platform that has a piston which raises the car to gain access to the oil drain hole and the corresponding filter. Below the floor of the service station is a large deposit filled with oil. This sealed container has on one side a small cylinder with a diameter of a few centimeters, but considerably longer than the distance the vehicle is to be raised. On the other side, there's a big cylinder with a larger diameter. If the two cylinders were of the same size, a pressure of one kilogram in one of the cylinders would also exert a force of one kilogram in the other cylinder. The Pascal principle states that the pressure applied to one point of a liquid is transmitted by the liquid in all directions. This is because you cannot compress a liquid. Since one cylinder is larger than the other, it has a much larger surface area and can raise with great force, though the distance traveled will be much smaller than that of a small cylinder. The intensity of the force can be considerably increased if, instead of directly pressing with our hand on the piston of the small cylinder, we apply onto the surface of the liquid of the small cylinder the air pressure coming from a compressor, which every service station has. Now, our task will be limited to opening and closing valves to raise or lower the car. This way, with practically zero effort, we can easily lift a load as heavy as an automobile.